welcome or welcome back to Four of Beauty. When will I be YouTube famous? I don't know. Probably never. What I do know is that this particularly gorgeous, I'm going to call it my bird of paradise look, was created with this Gemini palette from Multitude Makeup. So, if you want to see what the inside of this looks like and find out exactly how I created this look, then my friend, you are in precisely the right place. Grab a drink, grab a snack, put your feet up and enjoy. Hey, welcome back from the intro. Right, I would have shown you this in the intro. Now, I ordered this from Multitude Makeup. To be perfectly honest, it was one of my Painsomnia purchases. Um, and uh, mainly because it's got a purple and teal in it, which are my wedding colours, and also the teal is called Angela which of course is my name so <laughs> yeah so I bought this don't get me wrong love it but the day it arrived I saw a thing on Instagram about how the company multitude makeup are closing so I messaged them saying I was going to review your palette on my channel what's going on and she said, well, due to pressures at home at the moment, she's having to close. They may reopen again soon. But if you message them on either Instagram or their Facebook, they because they've taken their website down, um, if you message them on either Instagram or Facebook, they'll let you know what they've still got in stock and how much they're charging for it. So, in case some of you have got this and because I bought it to review anyway I thought I'd film with it today hope you don't mind hope you can still get it if you want it but if not my bad now this is a teaching channel so I go through things stage by stage it's done so that even absolute beginners can follow me so if I'm going too slowly for you, just speed me up. All right, there's a speed widget. Right, face is washed, moisturised, SPF'd and primed. Let's get you zoomed in. The shadow primer is the one that I've been using ever since I first tried it, which is the Crow and Pebble. That's, yep, that is the right way up in cotton. Um, I do have a discount with them, it is listed in the description box below. And yes, I had issues getting the... this is about the third look I'm doing today, and I had issues getting the mascara off last time round. And I don't want to rub my eye too much because it's already... sorry, starting to water me to take some tablets but I've already taken them that's cool right now I've got deep set eyes they're also known um, as double lidded eyes I've started to hear them being referred to as that a lot of people with deep set eyes uh, mistakenly believe or are mistakenly informed that they have hooded lids um, I'm just going to quickly go through the differences between the two because the way that you do your makeup depending on which you have is different. Now, when I look straight forward with my brows relaxed, you can see all of my mobile lid from inner to outer corner. So I haven't got hooded lids. It's only if your upper lid completely covers right down to your lash line, part or all of your mobile lid that you have hooded lids, part half or full hooded or what's known as a mono or an ancient eye. Now, I've got deep set eyes. This is the eye that I'm blinding, so I'm just going to cover the mobile lid. 
that you can see. And then close my eye and you can see there's as much lid space again tucks back away. And if I cover the static lid and close it, you can see the static lid that gets affected as well. So this is why we get the same issues. We get transference of shimmer onto the upper lid. If we're cutting our crease, we can't just cut the socket. We have to go onto the upper lid. And even when we use glitter glues, we're going to get a bare patch right through there. Now, if you have hooded lids, grab a brush like this or a pencil brush and sketch out where you need your new crease to be. Obviously that's going to reduce the space between your new crease and your brow, so just use slightly smaller blending brushes and um, I normally leave a gap between my shadow and my brow. If you've had to move your crease up you may need to go right up to your brows with your shade. If you have deep set eyes, the only difference you have to do is when you're putting the deepest colour through the crease, stop, relax your brows and just make sure you've brought it up high enough to be seen when your eyes are open. Okay, So two very different ways of dealing with it, but there we go. Right, I'm going to start off and use my Royal and Langlickle Chic Pro crease brush. They are all clean. Now, sadly stained but they are all clean because I cleaned them all on Sunday and I'm going to start off by going into Malvika which is the yellow very pretty yellow actually now what I like about this Chrome Pebble primer is it's not sticky you don't have to set it with powder it doesn't crease and you can blend on it straight away you don't have to tap the colour on and then start blending I do have dry patches here and here on both eyes, which does sometimes affect how shadows apply, but I can tell the difference and I will let you know if it's the shadow being patchy or my eyes misbehaving. So I'm going to start off with popping some of this on and I'm doing, when I'm blending towards the nose, I go in that direction. I do a little vertical bounce here and then reverse the direction to come back out again because I'm 45 years old, I've lost 13 stone, my eyelids move and by doing little circular movements like this it's the easiest way to blend it's the quickest way to blend and it moves your lids around ever so gently so that you don't end up getting bare patches the only difference that I have is, this is the eye that was pulled around a lot when I was five years old. You can see I've got super, super deep creasing here. Um, so I do sometimes have to deal with that eye a bit differently. This yellow is building up really quite nicely. That's good. The Chrome Pebble Primer, they do in white. And then they have... Um, sort of medium, uh, light to medium skin tone shades. I've got three of those. And then they've got a very, very deep chocolate brown and a black. So you should be able to find um, a base that will work for you. Uh, but the owner is a lovely woman. So if you do need a slightly different shade, drop her a message and uh, I'm sure she'll see what she can do about cultivating a different shade for you. Uh, but she has issues with transference of colours and stuff as well so she designed this to be the perfect eyeshadow primer and I've got to be honest it really is. This has taken over from my MAC paint pot. Okay that yellow's gone on really nicely. Um, I do have a discount code that you can use for Chrome Pebble. It's not affiliated and it's listed with all my other discount codes in the description box below. Okay, I'm really, really quite happy with how that's gone on. I'm just sitting back and making sure the shapes are the same because obviously your eyes are not symmetrical. I'm just going to clean any excess yellow off of that brush 
Then I'm going to go into Hannah, which is the orange. Same brush. That's pretty. And I'm going to put that on the lower part of my static lid. Because obviously I still want to be able to see the yellow. These are blending really nicely. Seriously, if um, if you want this palette, I suggest you get hold of Multitude pretty quick and just hope they've still got some in stock. You'll probably get a better deal on it than I did as well. If you do um, purchase from them though, do mention my name, let them know that you found them through me. Because then if she does open back up again at any point, um, I might be able to get discount codes for all of you to use. Uh, most of my discount codes are non-affiliated, I don't earn from them. It's just more important for me that if it's a product that I like, I will never offer you a discount code on a product that I don't like or that I don't use myself. So all my discount codes are listed in the description box. They all clearly state which ones I earn from and which ones I don't. Although to be fair, I'm not sort of I'm not in the sort of morphe shill stages of earning thousands. Far from it. So long as I just so long as people enjoy my what I'm putting out, that's more important to me. Um you know, one of my discount codes which started off as non-affiliated because so many people used it and that's one for September Rose with the slush palettes and uh, the brew palette she insisted on making it affiliated because she said that I've driven so many sales to her she feels bad with me not getting something from it but that started out as non-affiliated and you know the main thing for me is that you can save money on good products. Okay, they've actually blended together really, really nicely. So I'm going to clean this brush off on the microfiber cloth. And I'm going to grab a Royal and Langnickel Chic Pro eyeshadow brush. So, same sort of size, but it's oval when you look at the top of it rather than round. It's sort of pinched in. And I'm going to go into Trice which is a really lovely hot pink. Look at that. And I'm going to, I feel like a tutti frutti or a fruit salad sweet. Which those of you in the UK are probably old enough to remember. I'm just going to run that through the crease there. And then add a little bit more pigment and just really just buff it so that it's softening the edges and blending it into the orange. So you get a nice seamless blend. And I'll draw my clean seamless. And then just pop a little bit of it on the outer edge of my eye. So, oh, this is a very summery eye that I've done today. Hubby is due to, because um, it's the bank holiday weekend when I'm filming this, Hubby is actually due to disappear off today. Him and his younger brother and one of his mates, and his mate's son, who's seven, are going off camping for the weekend. Uh, due back on Monday, bank holiday Monday, thankfully. So I've got three days without him. I'm going to miss him actually. I like having him around, we get on so well. But I know he's going to enjoy himself. Yeah, 
boys boys camping and roughing it in the woods and or in a tent rather, they're not in the woods all over on a campsite. I'm roughing it in a tent and cooking on a little gas fiery stove thing. Go out a wookie hole. You know, all those fun things. They went last year and thoroughly enjoyed it, but they had a massive storm the first night they were there. I'm hoping they don't get a repeat of that this year. Right. Now they've got three shades at the bottom, which are... They've got two shimmers in the top, Hayley and... just managed to dig my nail straight into Hayley. Well done, Bomber. Hayley and Charlotte. But they've got these here, which, depending on your skin tone, light, medium, deep, highlighters. Yay. But I'm actually going to use one of those, possibly even two of those. No, I'll use one and use the other one as the highlighter. So I'm going to go into Leah. And I'm going to try applying this dry first, see what the pigment's like. apply it wet. Now never go into a pressed pigment with a wet brush. Always load the brush up and then wet it. I'm using this I Heart Rev fixing spray in vanilla and coconut. I'm just going to dry the ferrule off so we don't get any moisture going down and loosening the glue holding the bristles in. Now let's see if that makes any difference to the Oh yeah, just a little bit. I never cut the crease first time I use a palette because I want to see how much opacity the shimmers have and whether they'll actually be able to cover any matte that's got onto the mobile lid. And that's just, well, pretty damn perfect really. I'm just going to use the very tip of the bristles just to blend it into Pink that we've got at the edge there. Hmm. Right, clean and dry the brush to go back in and do the other eye. Oh, I really like that. Come on, who thought I was going to do purple and teal? I did. This is just it, you see, I, I start doing, I open it up and then I just, I have a plan in my head of what I'm going to do, unless it's like a palette bingo or something like that where you've got to use specific shades. Nine times out of ten, I'll come into it with an idea in mind of what I'm going to do and then do something completely different. Right, because of these deep creases here, I do have to stretch the lid out, otherwise the shimmer just packs loosely into the crease and then as I move my eye around through the day it ends up cascading down my face which looks awful. So, But do not do that if you don't have the same issue as me. The skin on your eyes is the most sensitive and thinnest skin on your whole body. And again just Buffing it lightly into the pink at the edge there. I'm really liking this. Right, I'm going to pause you while I put some foundation on and everything. And I will be back to finish off this look with you. So, you're going to see me instantly. I, however, will see you the very next time that I press the record button. Hey! I thought I'd go in with uh, some turquoise brows today because, well, it appears that I want to look like a fruit salad, so 
Let's really go for it. Right, let's grab the palette back. And I'm going to go into Shana, which is actually a shimmer, but it's the dark green. I'm just going to run that along my lower lash line to try and help cover up the fact that I'm struggling to get rid of some of the mascara from last time because my eyes started watering deep joy oh the fun of hay fever added to fibro gotta love it gotta love it but now this brush is one of my absolute favourites for doing the lower lash line. It's flat on the top, but it's chunky. It's actually the one that came in the Tarte Graveyard Girl Swamp Queen palette. And I'm going into Angela. Now when the winds cry Angela, Angela, I'll be there for you. And I'm just going to use that ooh, pretty colour to buff out the lower lash line. That is a pretty colour. I think I went a little bit too low this side. I might have to tidy that up with a little bit of uh, concealer in a minute. Again, one of the problems of your eyes watering. Right, let me just pop you on hold just for a second while I uh, sort that out. And then, um, actually what I'll do, I'll, I'll pause it, I'll sort that out, chuck my highlighter on, mascara, lippy, come back with the final look. I am back. I fixed. Right, the highlight that I used was actually Tanya from here, which actually is really, really pretty. Uh, the lippy is the L'Oreal Le Chocolat in Candy Man, Candy Man. No, don't start singing that one, Angela. And the mascara is my Catrice Glamondol Waterproof Volume Mascara, as ever. Uh, bang on dupe for Bad Girl Bang by Benefit, but it's cheaper and it's waterproof. Um, I can't tell you what the foundation is because it's one that I'm in the middle of testing because I've changed how I do my foundation reviews now. I like to wear them sort of three, four, five times before I do the review so I can give you a more rounded impression of whether they actually work on my skin or not. You know, I can try them with different primers, etc, etc. So, oh and I use the Starberry scented. I love how light that is when it hits your face, you just cannot feel it. Mm. But, what we're talking about is this, the Multitude Makeup Gemini palette. I really like this. Um, it blended supremely well. There were no issues at all with the blending. Um, I think it's a real shame that they're closing and I really hope that whatever the issues are that the owner is having in their personal life that they can get them sorted and get back on track because if the rest of their palettes are anything like this then you know they they could really take off. They could go they could go places because, well you saw, they, they blended together beautifully without any issue at all. Um, but as I said, you're going to have to get hold of them through either Instagram or Facebook to find out what they've got left and how much they're charging. But if you can get your hands on this palette, I would absolutely recommend it because I really like it. 
So, that is my first impression stroke palette review for this particular UK indie brand. If you've already got this palette and you've done some looks with it, if you'd like to, I'd love to see them, so please tag me on Insta or Twitter or somewhere. Um, or if you do get hold of them and they've got one of these left and you buy one because of me, let me know that too. I'd really love to know whether you've you know, gone ahead and, and grabbed this one because you liked what you saw. Um, as I said, if you do get them because of my recommendation, just give me a quick mention so that in the future, if they do restart again, I can say, look, I drove X number of sales to you. How about giving me a discount code for all my wonderful uh, subscribers, my beautiful 4F family. Um, I really don't care whether I earn from it or not, because the most important thing for me is I love makeup and I love spreading the joy of makeup and getting other people to enjoy it just as much as I do. Anybody would think I was breaking these teeth in for the dog, wouldn't they? Right, clearly that's quite enough for me for one day. I obviously need to go and get myself a very large glass of coffee. And uh, see if I can do something about waking myself up. Although to be fair, it's just gone 11 in the morning and I have been awake since half past two. So... Is it bedtime yet? <laughs> right. Um, I hope you enjoyed this. If you're one of my 4F family, please double check you're still subscribed. And if you've got notifications switched on, just double check that bell's still rung and that you've chosen all notifications because I'm still getting people saying to me that uh, I had one person this morning say, um, I thought you'd gone on vacation because I hadn't seen any notifications from you logged in today to look at one of the other films that I wanted to double check what the palette was you were using and lo and behold I've missed about nine films I'm just like oh for goodness sake this is crazy so um, YouTube are not being helpful to smaller subscribers right subscribers to smaller channels right now so if you are one of my 4F family please just double check your settings if however you are new and this half Welsh, half Yorkshire bird who lives in the south of England hasn't driven you away with her nuttiness, I would love for you to come and join us, you know, hit that subscribe button, it's a big red button, you can't miss it, turn it to grey and then ring my bell, ring my bell, yeah, definitely need more coffee. And if you think you can put up with more than one of my films a day, there are an awful lot that you can choose from. Uh, just have a pop over, open one of the playlists up and set it running, or just pick and mix something that takes your fancy. Right, all that remains for me to say, as ever, is your stay fabulous, and I'll see you next time. Bye for now.